Okay guys, so today is Friday. I called my doctor and my doctor's letting me do my beta today just cause I don't wanna wait till tomorrow. And then I took another pregnancy test today and the line is lighter, which could be an indication of early miscarriage or a chemical pregnancy, which has me nervous. And just the suspense is killing me. So I just wanna know what my level is, whatever. They said that we want anything over 100, so I'm really hoping that I have at least 100 or more. Um, she said it's okay if it's a little bit lower because technically I wasn't supposed to go until tomorrow. So not to be too concerned about it, the important thing is that it doubles. So I'm on my way to Quest Diagnostics right now to get my blood drawn, so stay tuned. hundred or higher I'd love to see 200 but I don't want to push it so they my doctor's office emailed me my order and and Quest won't take the email copy so I had to call my doctor's office and have it faxed. so now I'm just waiting for them to receive the fax I guess I just want to get my blood drawn and get my test results that's it that's it have put all the way back this way for you. Okay. Okay, so all done with that. Um, since it's a stat order, the Quest guy has to come pick it up and take it to the processing center. So she said that I should have my results around four o'clock. So I will update you when I have an update. Bye. Okay, guys, so I forgot to film um, the other day, but I got my blood test results back and my hcg level was only 31 and my progesterone level was only 11 which is very low um, they wanted to see it over 100. now the first number doesn't matter as much as the second number so i'm supposed to go for my second beta on tuesday and what they want is for it to double every 48 hours. So by Tuesday, it'll be 96 hours. So it should be at least 124. So that number is still low, but doubling is what's important. Um, what I've been doing though is what's called line progression, where you continue to take tests um, to make sure the lines get darker. Um, and then when the lines get darker, that's how you know your HCG level is going up. Well, um, I've been doing that and it seems that my tests are getting lighter, which means that my HCG level is going down, um, which is the opposite of what's supposed to happen, which means that um, I'm having a chemical pregnancy or like an early miscarriage, which was what I was afraid of. Um, so yeah, so my lines are getting darker. So now I'm just, just kind of waiting 
for the inevitable, which would be for my period to start on time, so. So I'll show you the test. Um, this was five days past transfer, six days, seven days, eight days, nine days. And then this was yesterday. Um, it had started getting lighter already. And then this is the one from this morning. The line's barely even visible, so. Yeah, my HCG level is definitely going down. And then um, this is the other tests. Five days, six days, seven days, eight days, nine days, ten days. And then this is the one I just took today for 11 days past. You can't even, you can barely even see the line. So to say that I'm heartbroken is like the understatement of the year. Like, it's like, <laughs> I did everything right, and I still ended up in this situation. <laughs> it's not confirmed, but when I go for my blood test, chances are my number is going to be, like, lower, or it may, like, be zero, which is completely negative. So I'm just kind of preparing myself for that. This is the thing that that sucks about trying to stay so positive. It's like you do that and then you're only positive and then when something bad happens it just like comes crushing down on you. And it's like I can't help but feel like it was me because my embryos are genetically normal. Like usually miscarriages happen when there's like an abnormality with with the embryo or the fetus, but there aren't any because they were tested prior. And then I'm sad because I have to go back and tell everybody that I told I was pregnant that I had a miscarriage and I have to go and I have to go back and tell our embryo donors that their embryos didn't work. <laughs> this is not fair. Like, I just don't understand why God would tease us like this. <laughs> and if you're wondering, well, why did you tell people you were pregnant before 12 weeks? I felt like it was only fair because we've been so open about our journey and trying to support people and giving people hope and stuff like that and it was only fair for us to tell you guys that we were pregnant and even though it's only been like a week and a half technically I'm four weeks pregnant today I'm glad that we know that I can at least get pregnant like I don't have any fertility issues or anything so I'm just really confused <laughs> And I don't understand why this is happening. <laughs> Not to mention, like, financially, now we have to, like, pay for this whole process again. We just have to start over from scratch. We do have embryos left. We have one embryo from our first um, donor, the ones we transferred to from, from the first batch, and then we have five in the next batch. So on the plus side, we don't have to try to get more embryos, but 
I'm just so heartbroken. <laughs> don't understand I don't get it I don't I don't I'm so confused <laughs> so now basically I have to go in for a blood test on Tuesday but chances are I'm gonna start bleeding before then so tested then I would feel a little better like okay well there must have been something wrong with the embryo but that's not the case in this situation so Can't we just be like everybody else that just has sex and get pregnant? Like, why do we have to go through so much? I'll update you guys later. Okay, guys, so today is Tuesday. I'm sitting in front of Quest right now because I have my second beta today. And when I tell you, I feel like I could just throw up. And I don't know if it's because I'm nervous or if it's from nausea. Like, every day my nausea has been increasingly worse. Um, but literally, I feel like I could just throw up at any second um I've been increasingly more tired um increasingly more hungry um I did take a test yesterday and the line was darker than the day before so I have no idea what's going on with my body at this point obviously I'm hoping for the best but also like being realistic because I have no idea how this thing could work out so I'm just patiently waiting I already put in my prayer to the big man upstairs so whatever is to be will be so I want to say that I believe that um God wouldn't bring us this far just for this pregnancy to end in miscarriage, but you know, sometimes we have to learn lessons and, you know, same reason the Black Panther died, like, you know, well, no, that's a little different. He was sick, so God was ending his suffering, but you know what I'm saying. Sometimes bad things just have to happen because just to line up for the next thing, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm hopeful that this is not one of those times, but <sighs> God seems to have a sense of humor, so we'll see. So, literally, I'm the first person here. They open at 7 o'clock. It's 646, and I'm the first soul here. Like, I don't even think there's an employee here. I wanted to be here first because I have to work at 8, so I wanted to get here right at 7 o'clock. So I didn't have to try to like leave work to go get my test. And the last time I came, it was at like 1040 and I didn't get my results until like four o'clock. So that was exhausting. So with a stat order for Quest, it's supposed to take four to six hours. So I should have my results by noon at the latest. So 
we will see. Alright, I'll update you when I have an update.